It's 10 months since the Martyrs of Syria Brigade fired the first bullet in the battle for Abu Dahor airport, and still the fight goes on. They've made some progress since we were last here in September, but the push to take this airbase has stalled, much like the rebel advance across the country. In some areas, it's even been reversed. The rebels have had the momentum for over a year now, pushing the government out of towns and villages, taking control of the highway and of airports like this one in Idlib. But now the regime has switched strategy, moving from the defensive to the offensive and taking key strategic areas across the country. This is Wadi Daif, a key Syrian army base near the airport. After breaking a rebel siege here, government forces received fresh supplies of ammunition and began hitting back on Idlib province. Government forces are also fighting back in and around Homs. They've cut off rebel supply routes into Damascus and pushed back in parts of Aleppo and al Raqqa. According to a former Syrian government strategist, who's still in regular contact with generals and ministers, President Assad's future depends on this new offensive. After two years, we can open-heartedly say that the Syrian regime started an offensive war, not and quitting from a defensive war. So from now on, we can observe uh, more dramatic sceneries from Syria. So if this offensive isn't successful, does that mean the military are going to turn against the president? Yeah. And Syrian military, Syrian officers, Syrian soldiers, I know that they are patriots. Syrian people, I know that they are patriots. But there is a limit, and there is a deadline for supporting uh, a regime. The commander of the Free Syrian Army, himself a regime general until last year, doesn't believe they will turn against Assad. And he puts the regime's newfound strength down to foreign assistance. They will fight with this murderer till the end. Uh, and I can tell you now uh, uh, that uh, there are a lot of fighters from Iraq and from Hezbollah and from Iran who are fighting now with the regime. The regime uh, don't have more than 50,000 fighters with a very bad morale. Thousands have died to gain this ground. If these fighters cannot hold the line, this sacrifice will have been for nothing. And the return of the government's forces into these rebel-controlled areas could be brutal. Suterton Al Jazeera, Abu Dahur, Idlib province.